Hi, my name is Tim Emery and I work at the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies in Hobart as a junior research fellow, where I provide scientific advice to managers on a range of small-scale fisheries stocks, such as giant crab and octopus. My research interests lie in analysing the effectiveness of different management systems and understanding how the behaviour and decision-making of fishers may change as a result of the implementation of these systems. Hi everyone, today I'm going to give a short tutorial on discounting. Discounting is about working out how much money in the future, say from an investment, is actually worth to you today. Say I offered you $100 now, or $100 in five years time. Which would you rather take? Well, you'd rather take the $100 today, because you could do things with this money, such as putting it in the bank and have it earn interest. So its value to you would be higher in the future. In other words, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Basically, money is worth more to you now than in the future. Let's work through an example by calculating what the future value of $100 is in five years' time. To do this, we use the bank's interest rate of 10% as our discount rate, as we'd probably be putting this money in a term deposit in the bank. So if I earn 10% a year with compound interest, after the first year, I would have $110. And after five years, I would have $161.05. To work this out, <coughs> we multiply $100 by 1 plus our discount rate to the power of the year, in this case 5. And this equals $161.05. So the future value of $100 in 5 years time is $161.05. I could earn an additional $61.05 on my investment. Conversely, to work out what the present value of receiving $100 in five years' time is, we reverse the formula and divide 100 by 1 plus our discount rate to the power of the year, in this case 5, which equals $62.09. So the present value of $100 received in five years' time is actually only $62. So $100 is worth $62 today because you could put that money in the bank now at 10% interest and you would expect that to become $100 in five years' time. This type of discounting of the future is a decision-making tool used to compare the cost-benefit of different projects. For example, say you have a project where the initial cost is $2,000 and then costs $500 a year in maintenance for five years. During each year, you make $1,500 back on your investment. So each year, you make $1,000 with a total net value of $3,000, which is $5,000 minus your initial cost of $2,000. But wait, you haven't discounted yet. Say the discount rate is 10%. So each year, you divide your $1,000 that you receive by one plus the discount rate of 10% to the power of the year. So in the first year, that $1,000, its value is actually only $909. In the second year, it's even less. It's 826. In the third, 751. In the fourth and fifth, it's 683 and 621, respectively. So summing these net present benefits together gives a total of 3,790. Minus your initial cost of $2,000 is $1,790. You could then compare this result to another project to see which has the greatest net present value. As you can imagine, the discount rate is very important here, and there is no hard rule for setting it. Usually the discount rate is what you would expect to earn if you put this money into some other opportunity. In other words, it's the opportunity cost of capital. A higher discount rate means less weight is given to the future, while a lower discount rate means more weight is given to the future. A discount rate of, say, zero would mean the future has the same value as the present. Also, the riskier you think a project is, the higher your discount rate or expected rate of return will be. 
So for example, investing money in a bank theoretically is less risky than investing in, say, a mining venture. So your discount rate would be lower. The value in discounting, therefore, is being able to determine what an investment in the future is worth to you today. And the further into the future the expected payoffs are, the more they are discounted.